A year ago, I uploaded a video to mark the 20th anniversary of me discovering the existence of the play Sleuth and writing this little prediction of what I thought would happen in the play. Had quite a bit of feedback from that of like, yeah, but you, you didn't say what the prediction was. And that was the joke at the time. I was just going to leave it and be like, oh, it's a mystery. And also that way I'm not spoiling what happened. Except on the inside, it is dated 29th of August 2002, which does not match the outside at all, which means I somehow forgot what bloody year it was <laughs> when I was writing it. So maybe last year wasn't the 20th anniversary of me sealing up this envelope. Well, envelope, this piece of paper that I wrapped around and put cell tape around. Maybe it wasn't the 20th anniversary last year, Maybe it's the 20th anniversary this year. Dun, dun, dun. Fortunately, there is a second version of the song that I paired with this video last year, so I get a second stab at this to kind of correct three main things. First of all, regardless of which one is the right anniversary, I'm gonna have nailed it. I'll have done a video on the correct date, unless I also got the day of the month or the month itself wrong, in which case, well, great. Good job, me. Uh, secondly, uh, I can actually talk a bit more about what the prediction was. I'll still, like, avoid spoiling the entire thing, but for everyone who was curious and was annoyed at me that I didn't do it, it's been a year, I've had a year of being amused that I didn't say anything about what the prediction actually was. I can actually say a bit more about what it was and why it was basically completely the opposite. Uh, again, still trying to be a little bit spoiler-free. Thirdly, I can talk about the music a bit more. I didn't have a huge amount prepared to say about the music last time, it was mostly what I prepped was for the prediction and talking about Sleuth and about that kind of aspect of things. And I think there's a little bit more I can say, particularly about the difference between the two versions. This is the mic drop for Shout, Brackets, Face on the Evening News. And this is the mic drop for covering all of my bases as regards to the Sleuth prediction. So my accompanying notes were, I have not been told anything except its name and that it is unpredictable. And I guess also that it's a stage play. So that's all I knew. And the prediction that I came up with was, it was the detective what done it. Which is hilarious because there is something fun about the detective in Sleuth, but what done it here refers to the murder. And the one thing you can definitely absolutely say about the plot of Sleuth is the detective is not the murderer. Dun, dun, dun. And now to say a little bit about Shouts by Johnny Slater. I spoke last time about it being a sort of crime thriller inspired and that's why I chose it for the piece, but I didn't really say a lot other than that. It's one of several pieces by Johnny Slater that have really kind of atmospheric reverby guitar. I love the, the feel of it, but uh, the version I'm talking about today has quite a different feel. This is from the album Inversions, which was kind of reimaginings of a whole bunch of songs that are closer to the way Johnny does them as a live act as opposed to like full band arrangements. And this one kind of, instead of having that very atmospheric guitar and the kind of rock, the kind of um, rock slash soundtrack aspect to it, uh, foregrounds the rhythms a bit more. You've got acoustic guitar, you've got some very Latin rhythms going on. And I really like it as a contrast. I have to say the whole of Inversions is a great album. I do think all of the arrangements really bring something new to the piece. I guess because of being based on the live arrangements rather than going into a studio and having to come up with different versions of the songs. Um, but yeah, I really love Shout being a bit more acoustic based. It's a very nice arrangement. It provides a nice contrast to the original. It fits in very well on the album as a whole. And there are definitely times when I'm happy to listen to either the original version or the, the new version. As always, I'll stick a link in the description for people to check out the song, and I guess I'll include both versions so you can compare them, but particularly check out the Inversions version of the song. And now, having absolved myself of my own crime of suspense, of not telling anyone what was in the envelope, uh, that'll do it for me for a while. I'm probably not going to be doing regular videos any point particularly soon. Then again, something like this might come along where it's fun to do just a one-off, so you never know. Secondly, I can actually go a little bit more into the music itself, just a tad, but I wasn't really making it about the music last year, it was more about the 
the mystery and the prediction and everything. Secondly, that's, that's not secondly. Firstly, secondly, backup secondly is not how maths works. I should know I have a degree. <laughs>